Today, migrant and refugee women do not have equal access to healthcare in Australia. We represent one in three women in this country, but when it comes to our health, we still face barriers that are unfair and place us at greater risk. Women on temporary visas do not have access to Medicare, even when they live in Australia for many years. Private health insurance doesn't cover all women's health care, so out-of-pocket costs can be high. Our specific settlement and migration experiences are not always understood and respected by health professionals. Health systems often disadvantage us based on our postcode. Some services are hard to access within regional areas. And health information is not always available in languages other than English. These challenges can lead to misdiagnosis, delayed and inadequate care, and financial burden for the health system. If we want equitable health care, we need a system that makes us feel safe, respected and included. Governments need to invest in intersectional approaches to health. This means addressing the multiple forms of inequality that affect the way in which we access health care. Visa discrimination needs to end. Health and support services should be available to all people despite their residency status. We need more investment in multilingual women's health information. And more importantly, we need a culturally and linguistically responsive health workforce. When we access accurate and culturally sensitive health education, we gain knowledge, confidence and control over our own health. And the benefits extend to our families, our communities and the health system itself. Because taking action to keep people healthy saves lives and lowers healthcare costs. Migrant and refugee women and gender diverse people are experts in their own health and they know what they need for their well-being. If we want to achieve health, gender and social equity, it is time to listen to migrant and refugee women and gender diverse people.